the story of Bernadine Pruisner and the devastating events that unfolded in Ferguson, Missouri, has left a deep impact on the community. In a tragic turn of events, Bernadine, a 39-year-old woman, took the lives of herself and her four children in what has been classified as a murder-suicide. The incident has shocked and saddened the entire region, prompting questions about the circumstances leading up to this heartbreaking event. In this video, we'll get into the details surrounding the case, exploring the background, potential motives, and the aftermath of this devastating incident. The fatal fire that claimed the lives of Bernadine Pruisner and her four children sent shockwaves through the quiet neighborhood of Ferguson. The incident occurred in the early hours of Monday morning at their residence on North Clay Avenue. The local authorities, including the St. Louis County Police Department, swiftly launched an investigation to determine the cause of the fire and the circumstances surrounding the tragic deaths. As the investigation unfolded, it was revealed that Bernadine Pruisner intentionally set a mattress on fire, which became the point of origin for the blaze. The police discovered a note left by Bernadine, stating her intention to take her own life and the lives of her children. This heartbreaking revelation shed light on the possible motive behind this tragic incident. The victims of this devastating murder-suicide were Bernadine Pruisner and her four children, Ellie and Ivy Pruisner, nine-year-old twins, Jackson Spader, six, and Millie Spader, two. The loss of these young lives has left the community in mourning, as friends, neighbors, and family members struggle to come to terms with the unimaginable tragedy. Each child had their own unique qualities and brought immense joy to those around them. Jackson, the six-year-old, was known for his kindness, intuition, and gentle nature. He was an incredible older brother who loved his sisters deeply and was always attuned to the needs of others. Millie, the two-year-old, was a funny, charismatic, and kind little sister who brightened the lives of everyone around her. Jared Spader, the father of Jackson and Millie, released a heartfelt statement expressing his profound grief and the immeasurable loss he feels. In his statement, he described his children as the greatest gift a father could ever ask for. Jackson's caring nature, love for his sisters, and his passion for sports, art, and the outdoors were highlighted. Millie's endearing qualities as a funny, charismatic, and kind young girl were also celebrated. Jared expressed his determination to honor the memory of his children and thank the community for their unwavering support during this difficult time. The tragedy that unfolded in Ferguson has raised questions about the warning signs that may have preceded the murder-suicide. While the investigation is ongoing, it has been revealed that Bernadine Pruisner had been struggling with depression and had expressed thoughts of self-harm. The presence of a note stating her intentions further suggests that she had been battling inner demons that ultimately led to this heartbreaking outcome. Court documents and testimonies from those close to the family shed light on the complex dynamics surrounding Bernadine Pruisner's personal life. She had been involved in contentious custody battles with the fathers of her children. Her relationship with the fathers, especially in the months leading up to the tragedy, had become strained. Bernadine's lawyer, Nathan Cohen, revealed that one of the ongoing court battles was related to her move to a new home in Creve Coeur, which brought her closer to the twin school and the father's residences. The fathers objected to this move, which intensified tensions between the parties involved. Despite the challenges, Bernadine and the children often returned to the Ferguson home, where she still had a lease, to tend to her urban farm and be with her beloved animals. Just hours before the fatal fire, Bernadine Pruisner took to Facebook to share a poignant moment with her children. In the post, she described seeing her kids peacefully sleeping together in her bed, emphasizing the depth of her love for them and her willingness to do anything for their happiness. The post, now haunting in retrospect, offers a glimpse into the bond between Bernadine and her children and the love she had for them. The tragedy of the Pruisner family serves as a stark reminder of the importance of mental health awareness and seeking help in times of distress. If you or someone you know is struggling with depression, thoughts of self-harm, or in need of emotional support, it is crucial to reach out to professional resources. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is available 24-7 to offer free and confidential support to those in need. It is essential to prioritize mental well-being and to encourage open conversations about mental health within our communities. In the wake of this devastating tragedy, the community of Ferguson has rallied together to support one another and honor the memory of Bernadine Pruisner and her children. Flowers, stuffed animals, and other tributes have been left outside the family's home serving as a visual representation of the collective grief and sympathy felt by the community. Vigils and memorial services have been organized to provide a space for mourning and to offer support to those directly affected by the loss. As the community begins the healing process, it is essential to remember the lives lost and to support those left behind. The memory of Bernadine Pruisner and her four children will forever be etched in the hearts of those who knew and loved them.
the tragedy serves as a reminder of the importance of compassion, understanding, and mental health advocacy. Through open dialogue and support, we can strive to prevent similar tragedies and ensure that no one feels alone in their struggles. The heartbreaking case of Bernadine Pruisner and the murder-suicide that claimed the lives of her and her four children has left an indelible mark on the community of Ferguson. As we reflect on this tragedy, let us use it as an opportunity to prioritize mental health, foster open conversations, and support those in need. By coming together, we can create a more compassionate and understanding society, where no one feels alone in their struggles. May the memory of Bernadine and her children serve as a reminder to cherish our loved ones and to reach out for help when needed.